Lydia, good morning. Well, it's been a really tough fight for fire crews out here who are battling the Bighorn Fire. One of the reasons why is because of the wind, and then the other reason is really because of where this fire is burning. So let's take a quick look at what we're dealing with this morning. You can't see the fire itself, mainly because the sun has come out, but you can definitely see that cloud of smoke, and we've been able to see that since about 4 in the morning. Now, yesterday, the Type 3 team that started off fighting this fire, they were switched out for a Type 1 incident management team. So this is significant because this type one team, they bring a whole lot more resources with them along with a tougher management team that's trained to deal with difficult fires like the Bighorn. Now we spoke to a member of this team who told us bringing in this brand new type one team has everything to do with the kind of fire that crews are fighting. We have the steep rugged terrain. We have the communities, you know, it is, um, it is, you know, expanding, you know, over the ridge there towards Pima and heading in further east. So we felt because of that complexity and the, you know, it's, a, it's just over 2,500 acres that it was the um, best thing to do was to bring in a type one team. Pearson added most of the fight against this fire is being done with water buckets and retardant, and that's because it's too dangerous to have those hotshot crews in the thick of it. Now, right now, the main priority, keeping those lines from growing, and that's really what hotshot crews are aiming to do today. They do also plan on dropping some more water buckets as well as some retardant. For now, we're live near Pima Canyon Trail, Veronica Costa, Kega 9 on your side.